Okay, we tried to find WN60, had a little difficulty finding it, so we came on over to Omaha Beach and we are at WN62. Okay, that is WN62 right there, the bunker. The memorial on top is for the fish, 5th M Engineer Special Brigade. I mean, look at that beach. Where's the high? The tide is pretty high right now. And so, walk over here. Some interesting history about this resistance nest. German manning a machine gun here, a man named Hein Severlo, or Heinrich Severlo. He was right over here. I see what's left of uh, the observation bunker right there. We'll go over there in a minute. Take a look at this real quick. to our 80 brave comrades in arms of the 299th combat engineers who gave their lives on the beaches of France and on the continent of Europe in World War II, lest we forget. great place to have a defense set up. I mean, this is just amazing. Um, looking this way as we're looking east towards, let's see, Aramanchical Beach, Juno and Sword Beaches. WN60 is right somewhere right along in here. And, uh, I don't know if we'll have time to find it today before we run out of daylight. We'll see. I see part of a bunker here, bunker there where that guy in the brown coat is. That kid in the brown coat. And we'll go over there in just a minute. But uh, if you know anything about WN62, this is a uh, wow. I'm really excited to be here right now. And those two blocks down on the beach right there. I'll tell you more about them in a minute. Yep. Wow. It's one of those moments where you just can't believe where you are and what you're looking at. It's um, quite incredible. I'm not talking about you, little fella. Got some sheep grazing down here. See, they're all looks like they're marked on the back with some some paint, maybe. Yeah, but that's our little red car way down there, and we hiked up this hill, and that's about 150 feet gain in elevation. Yeah, but just a commanding view of the beach for a resistance nest. And this big wall here. There was an 88 millimeter gun down below that had a clear, clear path of fire down the beach. Um, they had several 88 millimeter guns on this beach, 75 millimeter guns. They had like 85 machine guns 
on Omaha Beach. Kinds of anti-tank guns. I mean, this just heavily defensed beach. there is for the big red one we'll probably see that tomorrow or Friday not gonna walk up there today so we're gonna venture down these stairs and get a couple of pictures down here okay we're down um, we're down the hill this is WN 62 a little shadow coming across And you can see this uh, wall here protecting the gun from the from what would have been naval gunfire coming in. Had a big 88 millimeter gun in here. And you can see the damage it took once some uh, some armor got on the beach. Definitely took some hits right there. Like one, two. These three, four hits up there. I don't know, maybe from naval, um, probably some tanks. Bye. So step down in here. And yeah, that was a commanding view of the beach. Of course, all that brush wasn't there then. But this gun could fire the length of the beach all the way down. I think these guns, the shell would go about what, 12 miles or so. Yeah, wow. Pretty amazing to be here. Wow, look at this hole. It's like a shell came in and, geez. Took a big chunk out of that. Look at that. That's major damage. Good Lord. Put the flashlight in with us. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I'd hate to be in here when that happened. Someone, someone got a nice shot in here. I'm not sure what the hook is for. Wow, look at this one too. Just thought we had a shell come through here. Something took that out. Great place for a bunker. here. Yeah, look at that. Bird's nest. So what? Yeah, see that shell came through here and boom. Didn't knock a hole in that one, so that's where it stopped, but a hell of a shot. Wow. Awesome. You can see where the gun could swivel. That's here, it could swivel back and forth. So, awesome.